Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display your blog post feeds by most popular post. Now, if you've been using Elementor for a while, you know that you're kind of limited to how you can order your blog post. You can normally just do date, title, menu order, and some random. Once in a while, we get a request, hey, can you sort these by the most popular? Yes, you can pull this off by using two free plugins. But before I want to continue, uh, I do want to warn you, this is going to be a little more advanced than most of our tutorials. So if you're not comfortable with the back end of WordPress or Elementor, uh, this tutorial might not be for you. The first plugin you should install is called Advanced Post Queries. This is going to give you a lot more flexibility on the Elementor post widget. The next plugin is WP Post Views. This is actually the plugin that's going to keep a log of all of the traffic that hits your blog post. So this is the most important plugin to have to pull this off. And after you've set up and activated those two plugins, the first thing is we need to go into the post view options. So that's under settings, post views. Now you can keep most of this by default, but what I recommend is right here, counts views from, change this to guest only. Uh, you don't want to have it where if you're editing pages on the back end that that's actually going to get counted as a visit. So I recommend guest only. Exclude bot views. I, I would recommend putting this to yes. So any of the big bots, the script is going to not count it as a visit. So that could help to make it a little more uh, accurate. And if you read right here, depending if you have some caching enabled or not, uh, you may want to see which option works best for your environment. But I, in my situation, I just put this to yes and it's been working fine. And the rest of this you could just keep by default because we're not going to actually be using these uh, PHP codes or anything like that in on, on a page template level or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about touching these. Okay, now after that's activated, if you head over to your post, you're going to see a new section here called Views. And if for some reason you're not seeing this, you could just go up to Screen Options and make sure that views is active. So when you first install the plugin, all of your blog posts are gonna say zero. And so I've already installed this and done some testing and a few of the pages I have um, visited on the front end have been logged as a view. Now I'm gonna show you how this works and how quick it updates. So let me pull in a totally separate incognito window where I'm not logged in or anything like that and I'm just gonna visit the August 2020 SEO tips page. So you could see that was just a simple visit. I didn't do anything extra to it. So I'm going to pull this back over here. And if you look under August 2020 SEO tips, it shows one. But if I hit refresh on this page, it's going to jump to two. So you can see that right here. And if I pull this back over, refresh it, it should go to three. There it is right there. So as you can see, it's just basically keeping a very simple log of every time somebody hits the website, just keep that as a view. Um, so that's why I recommend you put that exclude bot on because if bots start crawling your website, it's not gonna be very accurate. And in order for this to work correctly, um, you need to make sure that your blog post that you wanna have shown in your feed have at least one view. So if you have a situation where you have tons of blogs and you don't have any visits to it, um, the next step isn't gonna work correctly. So you either have to just manually go to those pages one time um, or just wait for some organic traffic to come through and then activate the next section. But I've already gone ahead and done a few tests where I have a few one visits and then this one was the extreme one at 68. So you can make sure that how to integrate MailChimp with Elementor should be the number one video. So that's why I have it at such a high number. Okay, so now the last step is to actually use that advanced query option that we installed and tie it to your Elementor feed widget. It's very simple to do. So once you go and you have your blog feed the way you want it styled and everything like that, Instead of going through these options down here, you're going to see that there's this new option called advanced query options. You just click inside of here, go under to advanced order by options, and then click right here where it says dynamic order by field. So what this is going to do is, I already typed in views, this is going to pull the values from here called views. And you need to be able to say, okay, the highest one 
with the views is going to be the first blog post. So let me go back to here and under the field, you just want to make sure you type in the word views and there you go. So now it's how to integrate MailChimp with Elementor. That's correct. That has 68 views. The next one should be four things missing from your services page. Yep. There you go. August, 2020. Yeah. So it's working perfectly and that's all you have to do to pull this off. Like I said, it's a little more advanced, but we can do this without touching any code. Um, because the other options to do this, it can get kind of messy with code and everything like that. So I wanted to keep this a very simple way to, you know, organize your feed by most popular post. So here's a little added bonus. If you need to add a view count to your blog post pages, you could do that really easily. In this situation, we have the single blog post template. So at the top of every of our blog posts, we have the title and then we have this metadata information. So right now we just have the date and the different categories. The good thing about the views plugin is that it adds this information on each blog post. So now that is dynamic data that you can pull into your website. So it can be a very powerful way to display that dynamic data. So let's say I want to add how many views are on this blog post at the template level. So you would go under here, add terms, and instead of the type, you would go to custom. And if you click this button right here, the dynamic tags, you can go to post custom field, then you can select on the key. And depending on your website, you might have a whole bunch of different fields in here, but you're just looking for the one called views. And now that will auto populate. And that is just the value. So if you click on advanced, you can put in um, after space views. It's going to say two views once you hit. There you go. So now it's always going to display how many views that blog post has. So let me just hit update on this page template. And now let's go ahead and click on a few of these to make sure that that new post data is correct. So on this very first one, it should be a pretty high number. There you go, it says 68 views. Now if I hit back and the four things missing on your services page, four views. And let's just check one more. This one should just have a couple views. There you go, two views. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paste this into my incognito window. And let's see if that updates. So now if I hit refresh, it's three. Refresh four, there you go. If this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and ring that bell to receive notifications when we release new videos every week. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design. Thank you.